Welcome. In this video, we're going to prove the distributive property of the dot product. So given, let's suppose these vectors, and we're going to do this just for vectors in XYZ space. So suppose we're given vectors, that is A is equal to A1, A2, A3, B, B1, B2, B3, and C, B1, C2, C3. Let's suppose these are all vectors in, that is contained in XYZ space, which could be represented as the real numbers 3, so R cubed. Distributive property is as follows. So C dotted with A plus B. Well, that's C dotted with A plus C dotted with B. And this is what we're going to show is true. Okay. So let's begin with what we have on the left-hand side. That is c dot vector a plus b. And let's rewrite these using the definitions of each of these vectors. Well, the first thing we want to do is complete the vector addition here in the parentheses. And those of you in my course, I do expect you to neatly line up your equal signs. And first thing I'm going to do before I do this vector addition, which I expect those of you in my course to do, is I'm going to write down everything I'm not working with. So right now, even though I'm not working with vector C or this dot product, I'm still going to write it down, just like that equal sign. All right, so in the parentheses, we end up with A1 plus B1, comma, A2 plus B2, comma, A3 plus B3. Now, according to the definition of the dot product, this is equal to C1 times A1 plus B1 plus C2 times A2 plus B2 plus C3 times A3 plus B3. Well, all of these values, all the AIs, so FYI, all the AIs, BIs, CIs, these are all real numbers. That is, they're all scalars, and the distributive property holds with scalars. So this becomes C1A1 plus C1B2, oh, B2, excuse me, B1 plus C2A2, plus C2B2, plus C3A3, plus C3B3. And let me just make that really clear here, that the distributive property holds for scalars. Well, another property holds scalars, that is the commutative property. So what does the commutative property tell us? And actually really fast, I'm just going to write down what the distributive property tells us. For scalars, well, the commutative property tells us that a plus b equals b plus a. So let's do a little more rewriting. This is c1 a1 plus C2, A2 plus C1, excuse me, C3, A3 plus C1, B1 plus C2, B2 plus C3, B3. And this is repeated applications of the commutative property. That is, I would have swapped, excuse me, not these ones. These ones would have had to have been swapped out as would have these ones, and I'd have to do more swapping to get all of these together and all of these together. Well, why would I do that, you may ask? 
Well, here, this is just the dot product of vector C and vector A. This is just the dot product between C and B. I can rewrite this as vector C dot vector A plus vector C dot vector B. And there you are. We started with C dot A plus B, and we ended with C dot A plus C dot B, which is exactly what we wanted to show here. Hopefully you found this helpful. Please keep calm and math on.